All right, the last time I did a review of a DC collectible, or at least a statue or bust, I don't even know. Um, anyway, it was Batgirl. The Cover Girl's Batgirl statue in her new 52 uniform costume. So this is the bust in her new 52 costume. Um, this used to be called the Women of the DC Universe line. I don't know if it still is. Uh, they've got different base styles now. All of them, I think, are based on the new 52 designs. And frankly, this bust is awesome. Um, it's got a really great dynamic flowing cape. The base, I like the 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 the, the, the dynamic, I guess, look of the base. It's got a really prominent raised bat symbol, um, different than the one she wears on her chest. Interestingly enough. If that matters. It's interesting. Um, let's talk about the paint. Her belt is gold and yellow, and uh, it might be a little bit sloppy in some of the lines, like right there, but it looks pretty good. The bat is gold. Her gloves are also yellow and gold. You can see her, the palm of her hands looks like they have gold. I like the the grippy texture on there, that's cool. Um, okay, there's a paint fly, I guess you could say. There's the darker yellow or gold on the inside of her glove there. Looks to me like it's glaring really badly. Um, and nothing. Oh, I can't get the light on it. It's just the solid yellow there. It seems like that should have the same dark. But other than that, this thing is really cool. Um, <clears throat> let's bring in the statue so you can contrast the two a little bit. This, I still have a problem with the figure sliding into the base just a little too loosely. And she doesn't fit in frame. Nice. The base is... Oh, yikes. Let's see if I can do these without smacking them together and breaking them on camera because that would be awesome. Since this is a bust, I guess we only need to look at the top. Some immediate obvious comparisons. I have them on the wrong side. Hold on. There, now I can maybe get them closer together. Hopefully without knocking them. Uh, it's still not working. Um, the statue is all yellow. Oh, I guess that's a really metallic -y yellow there. But the belt, the bat on her chest, the second yellow color on her gloves, her cape, it's all a sort of a matte yellow. Whereas hers is yellow and gold, the inside of her cape is yellow, the inside of her cape is purple. I have not read a single New 52 comic. I have no idea which is more accurate, or if both are accurate. Um, I almost think the heads are slightly different sizes. She has a little bat clasp. It's really hard to see on the statue. The, the lines are really soft. But I can see it really good on this bust. I don't know if it's showing up at all. Maybe right there? You can see there's a big bat clasp on her cape. That's really cool. Um, more pointier ears, more slightly curved ears. I like pointy a little better. Her hair's a little darker. Um, different pose. So, I think it's totally worth owning both if, like me, you were able to get them for a good price. This I had to buy on eBay, but this I was helped out with by a buddy, and it looks great. So, I like both of these pieces. Pick whichever one fits your collection, or, you know, if you're like me, both of them. The pose on the bust is a little bit better. I guess I didn't compare the batterings, which you can't see because it's out of frame again. She's got a big one raised overhand. Hers is a lot smaller. And she looks like she's going to casually toss it underhand or something. The, <clears throat> what I would call the armored bits of her costume are a lot more glossy here. The undersuit is a much more matte. It may not even be black. It may be a really dark gray. So the contrast is a little better or more obvious than on the statue. Um, 
Anyway, both good pieces. I like them. I'll be reviewing the Supergirl statue and bust here shortly, since I just got the statue today. Thanks for watching.